Hi Taurus, I'm sharing a little frankincense with you to help raise vibration and clear our space. Okay, and clearing the cards. All right, let's go ahead and get this started. This reading is three messages for you from the spirit room. This first one is from your higher self. The second one is from your loved ones. And the third is from your guides. So we're going to take a card and clarify. Please only take with you what resonates and leave the rest behind. It's a general reading, so you want to make for sure that you only take with you what does resonate, okay? You might check your other placements, your sun, moon, rising, Venus, for a more complete picture or if this reading doesn't resonate with you. And use your intuition to help you figure that out. Okay, let's see what your higher self would like to share. Come to the edge, okay? <clears throat> and please excuse me, I think the frankincense is choking me up a little bit. Come to the edge, what that is saying is you need to come out of your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. There's something that will benefit you greatly. You see all these hearts sprinkling down. By you coming out of your comfort zone, it is going to bring something beneficial to you. Now, coming out of your comfort zone is not always the easiest thing to do. That's why it's called a comfort zone, right? But you will find benefits by doing so. And it could have to do with anything. Career, relationships, whatever it is, you will know. Okay, now here is saying that you need to make for sure that you bring in the balance, which is kind of interesting. If you look at this image, it looks very balanced, definitely, and it is. You know, her foot's over on the side, so it's keeping the balance. However, when you think coming to the edge, you don't think balance. No, <laughs> you think, oh, that's risky. So it's saying... Come to the edge, you know, come out of your comfort zone, but make for sure that you keep the balance. Okay. Here, by coming to the edge and making for sure that you maintain your balance, you and everybody that you care about are going to be very happy. Beautiful here. And it's going to bring something new into your life. Um, something where a new beginning is going on and it's something that you're going to love you know your cup runneth over with love so by coming to the edge and trying this new thing or starting this new thing and making for sure you keep the balance there's going to be much happiness and love which is beautiful okay now let's get a message from your loved ones on the other side see what they would like to share Beautiful. The end of a tough cycle approaches. So obviously, that means that you've been going through a hard time of some sort, but that it's coming to an end. And right here is a new beginning that's filled with love. And at the bottom of the deck from taking that card, you have have faith in your dreams. Okay? So there must be something in your life that you are wanting to evolve into some aspect. And it's saying, go ahead, come to the edge. That will help end whatever is going on that's been a challenge. Okay, let's get a few cards to go with that. Love this energy. Queen of Pentacles. She brings quite a bit to the table. She's got a career that she enjoys, and it brings in the pentacles, the income. And her home life is filled with love. So that's what she brings. But for me as a reader, to me, it, it also brings in balance. Because for those of you who are trying to have your career bring in the income, 
and you have a family, and it could be a family of anything, you know, family of pets, family of children, um, taking care of your parents, whatever it may be, it's a, it can be a real challenge to have that balance there, you know, the work, home, balance, and she does it beautifully. So you have good career, good income, wonderful home life, and balance. And here you have balance. Okay, let's get another card. Now, um, woo, that's too many. For me as a reader, whenever the cards are not really wanting to come out, that means that there's resistance of some sort. Mm -hmm. So it might be a challenging thing for you to do, right? To come to the edge. Okay, now this is saying that you are working diligently on this. Tweaking it, adjusting it, modifying it, whatever it is, to try to bring about the best result that you can. So you are working on this. And here, what this is saying is do not dwell on the negativities that are around. You know, the challenging emotions. An example would be like, oh, I can't do this. It's too hard. Or, you know, nobody's going to be okay with it. Whatever these challenging energies are, it's saying don't do that. Take the cup from the universe, which is right here. Okay? Let's go ahead and see what your guides would like to share with you. Believe in yourself, squirrel spirit. So your guides are telling you, you need to believe in yourself. It's important. If you believe in you, then coming to the edge is not going to be as big of a challenge. You're not going to have these negative thoughts and emotions. Okay, It'll be much easier to take that cup. It's important. Let's get some cards to clarify. Okay. It will be time to celebrate. Mm-hmm. So it looks like whatever it is that you're wanting to begin, you're going to be successful. And this is a relaxed kind of celebration where you get together with everybody that you care about, have fun. You know, it's a time of merriment, of having a party. So it could be celebrating, you know, this change. <laughs> and here, what came out with that is victory. So this is saying you're definitely going to be victorious in whatever this is. And at the bottom of the deck from taking that, it's saying that you're leaving behind where you've been to go for your happiness. Okay, let's get one more card. Okay, popped right out. Nine of Pentacles. This is letting you know that you're going to be very happy and content with your abundance. So this change looks like it is also going to be bringing in good finances or whatever you consider abundance and at the bottom of the deck from taking that it says you're going to drop all the burdens so this is wonderful let's close this out with a charm and i hope this has been helpful to you okay stethoscope what this means to me is you need to take a look within. You know, like the doctor checks your heartbeat. This is saying, check in with yourself. Okay, and I think it fits right over here. Check in with yourself and make for sure that 
you don't stay where you don't want to be that you do what is best for you and if that means going on and having this new beginning which it certainly looks like it does mean then that's what you need to do okay thank you so much if you like this please give it a like share subscribe and have a wonderful time much love bye